Good Tuesday morning, friends. Grab your cup of coffee. I've got mine right here with me. I couldn't start my morning without it. Go grab your Bible. I have that with me also right here. And I'm going to be reading to you today for our Holy Week journey from the book of John, chapter 12, verses 20 through 36. The title of this is Jesus Teaches About His Death. Some Greeks were among those who had come up to worship at the festival. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and made a request. Sir, we want to see Jesus. So Philip told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip told Jesus. Jesus replied, The time has come for the human one to be glorified. I assure you that unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it can only be a single seed. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their lives will lose them, and those who hate their lives in this world will keep it forever. Whoever serves me must follow me. Wherever I am, there will my servant be also. My Father will honor those who serve me. Now I am deeply troubled. What should I say? Father, save me from this time? No, for this is the reason I have come to this time. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard and said, It's thunder. Others said, An angel spoke to him. Jesus replied, This voice wasn't for my benefit, but for yours. Now is the time for judgment of this world. Now this world's ruler will be thrown out. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to me. The crowd responded, We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the human one must be lifted up? Who is this human one? Jesus replied, The light is with you for only a little while. Walk while you have the light so that darkness doesn't overtake you. Those who walk in the light, excuse me, those who walk in the darkness don't know where they are going. As long as you have the light, believe in the light so that you might become people whose lives are determined by the light. After Jesus said these things, he went away and hid from them. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I planted a variety of seeds recently, tomatoes, peppers, squash, and I've been watching them sprout and grow. I know the scientific explanation behind how seeds grow with the soil, the water, and the sun, but it still amazes me watching them grow. In fact, I'm gonna to try to show you a picture, or, or I'm gonna turn the camera around for just a minute so you can see. I've got them right here with me. I hope you can see them. There's my tiny little sprouts growing. It's given me great joy to watch them grow over the past week or two. And I noticed some grow faster than others, like the tomatoes started coming up first, and the, the peppers are a little bit lagging behind, but anyhow, that's probably a whole nother sermon. <laughs> and uh, What it reminded me of is um, my kids, Katie and Austin. When they were younger, I loved to read to them. And one of the book series that I loved to read was Frog and Toad. Maybe you've heard of it. The author is Arnold Lobel. Um, and the tale I remember, one of the, the ones that really struck me is the one where Toad is trying to plant a garden. And he, start, he plants his seeds, and after a day or two, he starts to fret and worry that they're not going to sprout or grow. So Toad, he starts to sing to them, and he stays up all night with them because he thinks they might be afraid of the dark. Um, he even screamed and, and at them and wept over them. And exhausted, Toad finally fell asleep, and when he awoke, he saw to his great relief that his seeds had started to sprout. You know, uh, again, this was probably a whole nother sermon, but it just reminds me that right now, in this time where we're all worried and scared and fretting, Jesus is right there. We might not see him or feel him, but he is there 
with us the whole way, just like Toad was with his little seeds. And um, I know too often I am like Toad also when I um, am working for Jesus in the church and here at home that I act and feel as if it all depends on me, that I'm the only one that can make those seeds grow. But as Jesus tells us in John 12 about his death, I'm reminded that God's garden grows from seed to harvest. It, it tells us if the seed dies, it bears much fruit. You see, Jesus was trying to tell us about his death, that he was going to die so that we can live. We have life today because of him. And so we put him first so that others can grow and live as Christians. We don't make that seed grow that happens by God's gracious gift and his work. We simply delight in doing our small part in growing the kingdom and being the light today. Um, I hope you're enjoying this devotion series that we're putting together for you over Holy Week. And now I'm going to ask you to join me in prayer. Dear God, thank you for the miracle and the amazing growth of seeds. Thank you for the gift of Jesus and the life and the light that he gives us. Help us to do our small part, to pray, to read, to help those around us learn about him, Lord. And we give this amazing day to you in his holy name. Amen. Have a great Tuesday, friends. Love you. Bye.